Ah, very cool. Yeah, you can hang very it on the cool. toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang it in Hans's office. Yeah. I said it's like a southern rock green. Yeah. <laughs> is your hair blonde or is it as grey as mine? Oh, it's blonde. Mine yeah, I met Dave, Dave in, uh, in, uh, in Florida. Okay. He's doing great. Yeah, but we yeah. played, in a, played at a church. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we, it, was, it was good. He's playing on my album. Okay. Is he playing old songs on the album or just... He plays a solo on the old song, How Great Thou Art. You okay. Know, how great yeah. thou art, how great thou art, by the rock and roll version. Yeah. And it's me and Dave, like, playing, playing, uh, yeah, Joel. So, uh, yeah, it was good. But cool. it, we had, it was good to have him at church. And uh, he's, uh, he believes in God, like many Americans. So he's, he's really, like, he's a, he's a big teddy bear. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, big yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah, we'll see him here shortly. Talk about who I was before and who I am today. Okay. Pontius was a real piece of work. Uh, he was a lost soul. To, um, I, I mean, I, that's what comes to mind right away. Uh, he, a good-natured person, uh, uh, a, a sensitive person, a, a, a kindly person, but lost. And I'm telling you, I'm so absolutely elated uh, that, uh, and I'm proud to call him my friend Pontus, has had a rebirth, and uh, uh, that people get to experience the person that, that I originally met, the man that, you, uh, that people see today, the Pontus today, and the Pontus of yesterday are uh, the bodily form is the same body, but it is, I mean, he has been cleansed inside and out. Uh, he is, uh, uh, he's got a purpose now, a, 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 a purpose that is, uh, he, he just, and I think, tell you the truth, I think originally he had, he had that agenda inside him the whole time, but it just, he took a wrong turn. And as we as a people tend to do, and he had some things happen in his life, uh, distasteful things that he wished they had turned out better for him. So he, um, buried his troubles in booze and, and, and in drugs and and uh, just uh, trying to go ahead and deal with it that way which was dealing with it not at all I mean all he was doing was it was making everything worse it amplified his the problem wasn't as great as it turned out to went on to be originally but um, now, uh, because he has uh, found the Lord and has a fellowship with the Lord, and uh, I, he is, I, I'm personally, as I'm, I'm still very glad to call him my friend. I'm glad to see a smile on his face. Uh, you can tell there's a smile on his heart. Uh, uh, he is... Uh, um, He's a whole person now, and he's uh, he's not a lost soul anymore. And uh, I wish him all good things, all good things always. Uh, he's another one that he was worth saving. Uh, we all have. So it's in all in how we deal. You just have to throw your hands up to God and say, I don't have the answers. I need some help. And uh, the Almighty will never turn his back on you. And uh, 
so I that, that's pretty much what I've got to say about politics. So thank you very much. quite a while ago, because yeah. London is not what it used to be. No. Yeah. I was there uh, last week. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And actually, uh, we're making a documentary about uh, my trip, because I was there 20 years ago. That's where I met Mickey Moody. Okay. So uh, it was it was really fun. We recorded uh, with Pete Reese. He plays bass. Yeah. He, he played bass with Gary Moore. He can't play with Gary anymore, because Gary's no longer with us, but yeah. a great bass player. I used to work with him in the mid '90s, so it was good to meet these people I haven't met in 20 years. Yeah. So uh, it was exactly 20 years since I went to London for the first time with my wife. Yeah, okay. And Sebastian, he was at home this big. Now he travels with me, so. Yeah. So that's that's why why we call the, the, this documentary 20 years after London, 20 years after. But as you said, London is nobody used to be. No, nope, no way. Soho is like cleaned up and. Yep. Shaftesbury uh, Avenue's gone. Denmark Streets, all the music stores oh, closing yeah. down. It's, it's, it's sad. Yeah. So uh, it's got that vibe, that voodoo is gone. Yeah. You know, it's just all too modern. Yeah. So uh, here's the documentary from uh, London, 20 years after. Mm. Okay, now we're here uh, at uh, a real legendary place. It used to be Andy's guitar shop. This is the most uh, famous guitar store in London. And when we came here, me and my wife in 1995, they uh, handed out flyers for uh, a concert the same night. And uh, I think it was the invitations they took. And Mickey Moody from Whitesnake was gonna play together with another guitar player. I never heard anything about his name was Steve Simpson. So uh, we decided to go that night. And at that time, uh, also a friend that I worked with in uh, within the pet business, pet uh, pet supplies, he was in London. So we went out for, uh, if I remember right, we had Italian food. Then we we uh, came here to Twelve Bar Club, and we we uh, listened to Mickey Moody play with Steve Simpson. And it was uh, not what I had expected, but they were uh, really good. And I went. Uh, after the gig, I went and spoke to Mickey, had my picture taken with him, and then uh, then we, after that, we started to fellowship, and uh, that's how I started to to work with uh, with Mickey, Mickey Moody. I brought Mickey Moody and Steve Simpson over to uh, to Finland on some tours. I had the privilege to play with him on stage. So uh, basically, it was here everything uh, started back in 1995 when uh, I came here with my wife, Mick Mickey Moody, and uh, started to work with uh, different musicians from uh, here in London. And uh, it was a interesting time of my life. So it was, it feels uh, strange to be here 20 years later. Got a home, never run, don't you see? Don't 
you see This is uh, the old uh, 12 bar club. It was closed some years ago and uh, they had a protest about this building and they want to keep the club but they have relocated it now. So it was here I met Mickey Moody, Steve Simpson for the first time uh, exactly 20 years ago and uh, as you see 12 bar club is no longer here but uh, this world changes. There's a lot of new buildings here, but we're going to continue our walk here on uh, Denmark Street. Yeah, I love that, but uh, it's still not enough. Hey, how are you? You need a little bit of... And now we're here in Soho, could uh, say these are the old stomping grounds where uh, used to come a party in the 90s when I traveled here. I used to come here uh, too often, to be honest, and it was always, always about uh, partying, playing rock and roll, and Soho was a place, back then it was a place where you wouldn't come with your wife, but today it's it's cleaned up a lot and uh, it's actually nice. A lot of different cultures, but still there, are, of course, striptease and uh, all kinds of stuff that uh, we don't support these days. So uh, it's uh, interesting to see how a town and a part of a town can change in 20 years. So. Uh, to be honest, I don't miss London as much as I thought I did. It's uh, too hectic for me. I am more uh, a redneck these days, and uh, probably that's why I love uh, Florida and Okeechobee. So uh, we're going to continue our uh, trip here in uh, London and walk around here in Soho. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? Well, I'm going to be out of here. I'm fine. 18 years. How much? 18. <laughs> Is it? Goodness me. Yeah, we don't get any younger. No. Yeah, but you're all still going like simple things. Yeah. <laughs> This is an old song from, uh, I think, uh, maybe early 1900s. Really? Somebody uh, did a blues version in 1935, but it's an old hymn. Wow. Yeah. Does it need to tune the bass? They sound much better when they're out of tune. Yeah, four strings. <laughs> I don't, I don't like them five-string basses. I don't like them five-string basses. No. Have you got one? No. Right. Yep. Yeah.
I can't remember how it started, but I got invited over to uh, Finland to play some uh, with uh, Pontus's band and a couple of musicians, and uh, we played some of my hit records that we had with Status Quo, and it was really good fun, and it was nice, uh, a good experience for me to go to Finland and play, and it was good fun. I think we had a good time. Pontus, a blonde guy, rather stocky build, liked to drink, liked to play guitar, and just a really nice guy who liked having, having, uh, having a good, good, good time playing good music. And, um, but like you say, you know, 18 years have gone by and uh, a lot can happen in that time. I think it's absolutely wonderful. I think uh, he obviously uh, realised one day that uh, things had to change. He had to change his lifestyle, um, give up the dreaded drink, I suppose, uh, whatever else he was doing. But I think it's, uh, you know, looking at him now, he's, it's paid off and he's a um, healthy guy. Uh, well, that shocked me, actually, because, you know, I hadn't seen Pontus, you know, for a long time. and uh, But, hey, that's the road he took. And uh, I believe, you know, he's, He's on the right path, and uh, he's a changed man, you know. So, uh, oh, good for him, I think, definitely. Uh, well, he's a different person, you know. He's a different person. Um, I mean, obviously, it was we were a lot younger in those days, you know. And uh, but, you know, I think he's. Uh, He's seen the light a little bit, you know, which is good. You know, he's seen God, and it's helped him. So uh, that's all I can say, you know. It's the first one I've done. Um, it's a pleasure, without a doubt. It was great, and it was nice. There were some nice grooves there, which I like. It's, uh, it's all about the groove, basically, for me. I love it. It's really good fun. It was fun, yeah. I enjoyed playing the tracks. Yeah, good fun. Enjoyed it a lot. It's a good album. It's a good album, and uh, it's, check it out, you know. I'm sure you're, you're going to enjoy it a lot. So, buy it. Well, my name's John Coughlin, original drummer of Status Quo for 20 years, and played with Quo up to uh, 1981. Then we did two reunion tours, 2013-2014, uh, which was a great buzz for me, going back with the band. And I think you should buy this album because it's got some lovely words and some lovely feels and uh, it's a good Christian album. And you should uh, see Pontus back. He's a good guy. But it was nice to see you here at Tommen in Treppendorf again. Well, you can always find me here. I don't get nowhere else. They won't <laughs> let me out. You you enjoy your job with all these uh, nice guitars? Yeah, it was a, like any job. It has its ups and it has its downs, but basically it's a cool job. Yeah, you know, is it like yeah. a dream job? No, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, but I like your service here. Yeah. I think everybody should come and check this place out when they... When they uh... That's what we always say. We yes. do what we can. You can't make everyone happy. But we have customers all around the planet. We have customers in Australia, in Brazil, Israel, Finland, Finland, USA, and Finland. Finland. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, and Finland. Next Canada. time I come here, I, I I'm going to check out where you hang that picture. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll find a place to hang out. Probably in a, in the warehouse. No, no. I might take down Eric across there. We're hanging next to Eric. Okay. Hey, Gary. <laughs> Eric Clapton. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's my old buddy. Never yeah. met him, but I call everybody buddy. Yeah. Right. But it was great being here again. Yeah, great to see you around. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.